We're just a few days away from the most anticipated interview of 2021 thus far, Oprah with Meghan and Harry. The special sees the royal defectors sitting down with legendary TV host and close personal friend Oprah Winfrey for a tell-all chat that promises to cover everything. Royal watchers are understandably on the edge of their seats, particularly after Prince Harry opened up to James Corden during an appearance on his talk show about how difficult the couple found the press intrusion into their lives. I'm way more comfortable with the crown than I am seeing the stories written about my family or my wife or myself. A teaser trailer promises nothing is off limits as Winfrey asks Meghan, Were you silent or were you silenced? Meghan and Harry stepped back from the royal family in January 2020 and have since moved to California and dedicated themselves to a life of public service. They are currently expecting their second child, so the time is ripe for an on-screen interview. Tellingly, in the new clip, Harry gravely says, My biggest concern was history repeating itself. That's clearly a reference to the tragic death of his mother, Princess Diana. Winfrey refers to how the situation reached a breaking point right before the Sussexes stepped down, with Harry admitting relief that he can endure the media scrutiny alongside Meghan, adding how he can't imagine what it must have been like for his mother dealing with the attention all by herself. Winfrey even notes at one point, You've said some pretty shocking things here. The host's BFF, Gail King, told People that Winfrey thinks this is the best interview she's ever done. But in spite of the juicy details teased by this trailer, all eyes are on Meghan's dress. Meghan sits next to Harry, who's wearing a stylish gray suit, holding his hand at various tough moments, looking demure but stunning in a classic black wrap dress. As Harper's Bazaar notes, Meghan chose her signature hairstyle, a low bun with loose pieces framing her face in front, while keeping her makeup low-key with, quote, a subtle smoky eye, coral-flushed cheeks, and a peachy nude lip. Although it's a relatively pared-back look, suffice to say Meghan's clothing and accessories will be outside most people's budgets. As Page Six notes, the Duchess of Sussex chose a long, triple-silk Georgette dress by Armani for the occasion, retailing for a whopping $4,700 online. The gown, which is decorated with embroidered silver foliage, is lovingly described by the retailer as sensuous with a subtle, refined twist. The brand adds, its value and prestige are increased by the large quantity of fabric used. The style features a deep front neckline, frontal foliage embroidery, and matching belt. The dress is sold out, but a similar variety is still available at the same price. For footwear, Meghan chose her staple Aquazura pumps, which retail for $695. Her jewelry is a Cartier Love bracelet that runs $6,550, an aquamarine necklace by one of her favorite designers, Pippa Small, which retails for $1,680, and blue Topaz Burks earrings that go for $450. All of those are also sold out since they've been identified. You can still purchase a dark blue variety of the shoes for $626. According to what Meghan wore, she's also wearing a diamond tennis bracelet that previously belonged to Diana. If Meghan's look is outside of your price range, fear not, because she's recently been spotted wearing a more affordable dress that's equally cute. As People notes, when Meghan popped up on a FaceTime call during her hubby's time with Corden, she was wearing a $30 dress from LA store Velvet Torch. The shop excitedly posted on Instagram about the shout-out from the Duchess, writing, So this happened Day. The dress sold out immediately, but at the time of writing it appears to have been restocked, or is at least available to pre-order, so act quickly if you want to get that Meghan sparkle. Although the royal couple has had a tough time of it over the past few years, which will no doubt be detailed during their interview with Winfrey, the Sussexes' marriage appears stronger now than ever before. While Corden chatted with Harry, he discovered that Meghan calls him Has. Has? How's your tour of LA going? Has? I didn't know what you were calling you Has now. No, you're not my wife. Living in the States clearly suits their growing family, and with any luck, speaking out about their troubles should endear Meghan and Harry to the public even more. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about the royal family are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.